Hey there and welcome to Simple Trader. Thank you for subscribing to a signal on our network. Uh, my name is Nick. I'm going to explain how to connect your MT4 account to our Trade Copier software. Okay, so when you first log in after you've put in your um, the disclaimer information and your password and everything, you'll be presented with a dashboard. Uh, thing you need to pay attention to here particularly is the blog posts. Every time there's any kind of change with the Trade Copier, uh, we post it here so you guys can keep abreast of what's going on. So first just check make sure there's nothing been updated there and then next thing you want to do is click on my signals. Now here is where you'll see the signal name for the signal that you've just subscribed to. So I'm using Smart Trader just as an example. Uh, so we're going to hook up my demo account to Smart Trader now so you can see how it all works. But yeah, whatever signal you subscribe to, you'll see the information right here. Okay, now the first step is to edit the settings. This is where we put in all of the details um, that the copier uses to execute the trade. So, MetaTrader account number, put in my demo account number, and the broker, I want to use zero now. Looking for Axie Trader. There you go. Okay, now I'm not going to explain every one of these um, fields because it'll take too long. Uh, leave it on default unless I tell you now. If you want a full explanation, then there is a copy of the instruction manual in the download section here. So read through that at your leisure. Uh, but yeah, let's just get through them. Disable fast stats, leave that at no. Single trade, unless you're in the US, don't worry about it, leave it at no. Maximum slippage in pips. Three by default is recommended. Trade comment. This is useful if you are following multiple signals on one account because it will create a comment next to each trade so you can see which position is being traded by which trader. So you don't have to fill it in, but it's always handy to have. Disable signal. You need to click this if you don't want to trade anymore. So if you want to disconnect your signal from your account, you got to click that. But obviously we want to be trading, so we'll leave that blank. Alert email if it disconnects. Uh, yes, you want to get an email so you're aware if there is disconnection. SMS alerts, I will uh, explain this in a little bit more detail shortly, but leave that as on. Copy, copy take, profit, and stop loss. Uh, there's a full explanation here. The recommended setting would probably be no. Uh, you're not going to see the stop loss on your chart, but you still will be exited from the position when the master account closes their trade. So. Hopefully that makes sense. You're not going to see a physical line on your chart, um, but you will be pulled from the trade when the master account disconnects. That just stops you from getting stopped out unnecessarily if your broker offers slightly different pricing. Uh, okay, and notes, that's just if you want to create some notes for yourself. Now, do not click update yet. We need to set up the money management settings. Okay, so max lots, uh, zero to disable. It's left at one just as a bit of a safety barrier for you guys, but I'll leave that at zero. Uh, risk multiplier using account equity. Uh, your risk multiplier, and this is where you're gonna um, work out how big your lot sizes are. So my account's 5,000. Click calculate, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna show me what the last 10 trades would have been. So you can see the master account here. Master account's about $15,000. Mine's about five, so it's roughly a third. Uh, now you can play around like if you had a multiplier of two, which would be mean, which would mean that you are risking twice as much as the master account on every trade. Uh, you'll see that there. So um, for this example, we're just going to leave it on default, which is one, uh, and max percentage drawdown allowed. Uh, have a read of this if you want to use it. I don't use it, but um, yeah. Then click update. Edit successful. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the My Signals tab. You can see we're still not connected. And the reason we're not connected is because we have not attached the EA to the account yet. So this is the part where we download the software. So at the moment we're up to version 2. So you click download. It'll download a zip. This is the zip, okay? So we'll just leave that, just take that off the screen for a moment. 
Okay, now what you want to do is you want to open up your MT4 terminal. So I've got one here that I've already loaded. So we've got $5,000 as I mentioned. Now to attach the EA, you need to open the terminal, file, open data folder, and then this will pop up. MQL4, we'll go through these slowly so that you can follow along. Experts. And here is where you want to dump the EA. So you copy and paste that. Okay, there you go. So you can trade a version two. You see I've got an old version of the EA as well there, but just ignore that. So version two. Okay, so that's done. I know it's a bit long-winded. Um, so just to go back, start MQL4, experts, and then copy and paste it into there. Right, then you close that window. You can close the zip too. You're going to have to close your MT4, okay? Because it should appear here, but it doesn't until you reset. So close your MT4. Reopen it. Okay, now you can see Simple Trader version 2 is in the expert section. So if you're not seeing that, um, you might need to click the plus sign. If you're not seeing this thing at all, you navigator. Okay. So all you need to do is you need to drag it onto the chart. It's huge as our company, by the way. Okay, so it's important that you get these boxes ticked correctly, otherwise it won't work. So the ones on the left, none of the sub boxes on the right. Uh, long and short, which is generally default. Okay, and then you go to inputs, your UID. Now this is inside your control panel. My UID is 971. So I'm copy and paste that in. Maybe I can't. Just type it in. Okay, these ignore magic numbers. Uh, leave them unless you're running third-party EAs. Like if you're running a an EA or a robot from another vendor. Um, get in touch with us on live support. There's a live support tab on it. You can hardly see it, but anyway, it's just there. Um, we'll explain what to do. But if you're just running signals from the Simple Trader Network, don't worry about it. Our dependencies is nothing, so just leave that. Okay, so once we click OK, we're going to be connected to the server. Now, Smart Trader actually has a couple of trades in the market, and that's why I chose this signal to show you. So what's going to happen as soon as I click OK, assuming I've set it up correctly, we should see a couple of trades execute. One other step that I forgot to mention is you need to say set um, it to active. You see expert advisors is not active. Smart Trader is showing as active, but it's not until we enable it into, inside MT4. Enable. And there we go. So we've got two buys on the Aussie dollar, um, and there's actually an order on the Aussie CAD as well. You can see it says out of range there. Let's find a better chart so you can read it a bit better. Okay, so out of range. That basically means that the trade is outside the slippage value. So if a trade is negative on the master account, as is the case with Aussie dollar at the moment, uh, then it will open it straight away because you're getting a trade in a better position. However, if it's out of range, it means that you're not going to get entered because you would be in a worse position. Uh, again, there's instruction, there's an explanation inside the slippage settings on the instruction manual. Um, but yeah, as soon as that Aussie CAD returns to um, entry, it'll get triggered into a trade. So I'll show you what I mean. So here's the Aussie CAD trade. Now, Smart Trader is currently long 9947. Okay, so it's got a five minutes. 9947. Okay, so he's long about here. And you see the distance there is 4.2 pips. So if that price drops down 1.2 pips, it will be inside our slippage value. 
and that trade will all automatically execute. All right, so there we go. Um, you only need to attach it to one chart, okay? So just have it on one chart. If you put it on multiple charts, you will get duplicate positions. So just keep that in mind. All right, now on, we can minimize that. You need to keep the platform open, otherwise you're not going to receive the signals. Minimize that when I click on my signals, you see last heartbeat, three seconds, connected, active, and you can see the balance. We've got two open trades at the moment. There's no volatility, so they're just sitting at zero. And you can actually view activity, and see how your trades are going. And it's all in here for you to, to keep an eye on. Okay, now the next thing I want to explain is SMS alerts. You can set up an SMS alert to, let's see if I can just do a test. Okay, so what would have happened then is a pin would have been an SMS to you to verify that it's the correct number. Um, because I did a test, it's not going to work. But what happens is you are able to get an SMS every time your master account opens a trade. You can see here. So send me an SMS every time a trade's open. Maybe one time it's closed. Or if there's an issue with your copy, and this is the one that most people use. So if there's a reason that your platform where you've had a blackout on your computer and it has not connected um, or is disconnected sorry you'll get an sms so then you can jump online and see what's happened now now i mentioned before about this how the platform needs to stay switched on uh, if you close this i'll show you so we've closed that platform and i'll refresh this page you'll see that it is disconnected. This heartbeat will start to expand. As soon as it refreshes, there you go, 10 seconds. So that's not connected. 10 seconds is fine, but you'll see, I'll do it again, and it will be longer and longer. So the way to combat that is to hire a VPS. There's information in the, on, in the instruction manual on the VPS. Simple Trader VPS, it's our VPS service. Uh, it's $29.99 a month if you sign up for a 12 month plan. And what that means is that you can be connected uh, 24 hours a day. So if you don't know anything about a VPS, click on how and why. You see the address there, stvps.net. Uh, and we explain it all there for you. Now, another quick thing to mention, live chat. We're here pretty well 24 hours a day when the market's open. So if you get stuck, just jump on here here to help we'll talk you through we'll type it through uh, any issues that you have make sure you stay connected make sure you understand the settings uh, and that's pretty much it there's a, a bunch of other things here that we could go through but I just like to use this video just to get you up and running understand the basics of how it works uh, so you can start copying trades so my name is Nick McDonald from Simple Trader thank you again for subscribing to a signal on our network I uh, hope you do well I hope you make plenty of pips uh, again, live chat if you have an issue. Um, thank you for being part of our community.